Hi, we have a new web-based image viewer for Amero called the iViewer, and I'd like to show you some of its features. For a selected image, I can access it via the Open With menu at the top here, iViewer, or I can see the same menu via right-clicking on an image, Open With iViewer, and this will open it in a new tab. If the iViewer is configured as your default image viewer, you can simply double-click on an image to open it. As you can see, we support both big tiled images and smaller images, and we're using the Open Layers canvas to support that. I can drag the scale bar from the corner here to position it anywhere on the image, and you can see this is updated as we zoom. By using Shift, the key, holding down the Shift key, I can rotate the image when I drag, and I can reset this by using the reset option at the top. Thumbnails for the current data set are shown on the left here. I can browse through those and open additional images. This is a, um, an image that has multiple Z sections, so I can use those sliders and time points. And you'll see that the timestamp information for this movie is shown at the bottom. The rendering panel will appear very familiar to anyone who's used our other viewers. Um, so I adjust the rendering settings here. And we have uh, included the viewer features of histograms and additional rendering settings such as different colors um, as well as lookup tables. And I can choose to reverse the intensity. Also, I can use the undo features, undo and redo. If I go to the ROIs tab, I can use these tools to create and edit ROIs on the image. Let's zoom in here. So I can use drag um, in editing mode. I can still drag around the image. And to draw a shape, I use click and drag. So I can choose the new colors, the shapes while I'm creating them. And I can also choose different line widths. So be an arrow here. And I can also, using the select tool, select and edit uh, existing regions. You'll see that the, um, each of the shapes I've created by default is uh, linked to the currently selected Z and T index. So, so that by moving through time, I only see those shapes when I'm on the selected plane. And I can also, when I select these shapes, I'll be brought back to the plane on which they are on. Um, if I want to have the shapes applied across all planes, I can unlink the shape from the Z and T index here. So now that will be available to me across all time points. Then if I, if I want to relink this, I can relink it and it will link it back to the currently selected plane. So I can undo and redo changes to the shapes and save them here. If I use um, a command and drag, I can use that to select multiple shapes at once. And then I can um, copy either using this menu or with the shortcut keys and I can paste those shapes onto a different image. Okay, thanks for watching.